polymer is a long chain molecule formed by combining smaller molecules called monomers. Polymerization is the process of converting single molecules, monomers, to long chain molecules, polymers. There are two types of polymerization, addition and condensation. This video is focused on addition polymerization. We'll release a new video on condensation polymerization soon. Addition polymerization is when monomer molecules add together without losing any atoms. To explain more, we are going to be looking at four examples, all of which are important as they have a high chance of being tested in your examination. First, we'll see how the monomer ethene turns into polyethene. This is the ethene molecule. As you can see, there is a carbon-carbon double bond. When we polymerize this, the ethene monomer's double bonds get broken down to allow two more bonds so that two more ethene molecules can be added on each side. Then, the same process is repeated to those two ethene monomers and so on. In the end, it forms an ethene polymer, polyethene. Before we move on to uses of polyethene, we are going to have to look at something known as a repeat unit. Now, in this polymer, it is ethene, this molecule, repeating over and over again. So, we call it the repeat unit. When asked to draw a repeat unit, you would show it like this. Keep this in mind. Now, back to polyethene. Polyethene is commercially called polythene. It can be divided into low density or high density. Low density polyethene, LDPE, is used for plastic bags, while high density polyethene, HDPE is used for bottles. Our next example is with the monomer propene. This is how propene is normally displayed, but to make it easier for us, we write it like this. A polymer of propane called polypropene will look like this. Here is the repeat unit for polypropene. Now polypropene is stronger than polythene, so it can be used for ropes and crates. Next, we will be using the monomer chloroethene. This is how chloroethene is normally displayed. A polymer of chloroethene would be polychloroethene. It will look like this. Here's the repeat unit for polychloroethene. Polychloroethene is strong and rigid, so it is used for water pipes and replacement windows. Our final example will be with the monomer tetrafluoroethane. This is how tetrafluoroethane is displayed. A pro polymer of tetrafluoroethane is polytetrafluoroethane, as you probably already guessed. It will look like this. Here's the repeat unit for polytetrafluoroethane. So, polytetrafluoroethane is commercially known as Teflon and it's used for non stick coating on pots and pans. The reason PTFE is used for this is because it is highly unreactive and has a very high melting point. Well, that's all for today. If you preferred it instead of a whack in the face with your textbook, then like and consider subscribing.